What's up, what's up? Peace and blessings. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big C. Just jumping in today. I ain't been on in a while, but I want to come in. How, how everybody doing out there? I hope everybody is enjoying life and um, taking advantage of this air and this life that God has gave us. You know what I'm saying? I want to get on the topic of um, King Von, man, and um, what's going on across the United States with our young black men, man. You know, it's really, really sad every time, almost every other week, every day, we see one of our little brothers assassinated and murdered, laid out in these streets, man. Them bullets is hot, man. Just like when your daddy told you when you was young. Don't put that motherfucking um, knife or that fork in that, um, that socket. It's going to electrocute you. And a lot of us didn't get that message, you know, evidently. Even in my generation, growing up, I lost a lot of my folks, man, because niggas didn't know no better, man, you know? But um, it's up to us OGs to lace these youngsters and, and tell them the truth, man. We gotta stop stop playing. Don't listen to no, excuse me, don't listen to no old nigga that encourage, that's trying to follow behind you and trying to do the same things y'all doing because he's an idiot, you know? You wanna be a king? You know, um, you got to you got to build your ho household, man. Take care of your household. Get in your house. Raise your kids, man. And all these parents that ain't in their kids' life like they supposed to be, they pieces of shit. You know, um, and you the main reason why these kids laying out. And as soon as they get shot, you just crying and screaming in the street. But your ass didn't. Um, didn't work hard or do what you had to do to discipline yourself for you to be in that child's life so he can see have a better life. You know, don't let them go out there and hang with them niggas down the street. They ain't doing shit. They parents ain't ain't, ain't um, hands on in their life. You know what I'm saying? Chicago got the hardest young niggas in the country. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of all the, all our that young generation. It's some hard. Strong kids, man, and um, if y'all was on the right path, you you could take over, you know, because you, you got you got heart, you you smart, um, you are brave, um, and, uh, and and actually we do stick together. We just um, get to the point where we let that 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 street life and that gang life influence the way we move and that's a weakness man i'm not i'm, I'm gonna tell you man stop following everybody just because this nigga wearing skinny jeans that nigga wearing wearing this don't don't follow that shit be yourself right now today man i still wear 501s man you know i'm not gonna um i'm not i'd be damned if i put on some skinny jeans i bought a um sweatsuit and I thought the pants was kind of baggy, but when I got them, they were flared out at the top, but then they were skinny at the bottom. I ain't put them motherfuckers on yet, because I don't wear that type of shit. I'm going to give them to somebody, you know? I wear 501s, and I, I keep it old school. I keep it original, like it, like it was given to me, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's sad that these youngsters, our, our youngsters is killing each other like that. How is y'all supposed to be kings and... and, and and you laid out in the motherfucking street. You know what I'm saying? You can't even, you, you, you hurting your kids, you hurting your, your mama, you hurting your cousins, you hurting your grandma. You know what I'm saying? You, I just came from the, um, the cemetery today. I drove up to Sacramento, dropped off a little package to, um, to the, um, on my job, you know, dropped off a little package and came on back. But before I came back, I stopped to see my mom. She had the cemetery. Uh, up there in National Cemetery. And um, I stopped seeing my mom walk through that cemetery, man, you know, talked to my mama for a minute, you know, was listening to some of the old school music that remind me of my childhood, the Delphonics, the Blue Magic, you know what I'm saying? I'm still on that, man. I'm just keeping it. I tell you, man, keep it original, man. Get out them streets. You are kings, but y'all acting like clowns and fools and peons. When you get 
killed. You can't even walk to your neighborhood. A real king, he builds up his kingdom. I build up my kingdom right here. My next door neighbor, he build up his kingdom. We got a fucking strong community. You can't come up in this motherfucker and do nothing. We don't give a fuck about who's the president, who's the mayor, who nothing, because we handling our own goddamn business as men. You not a man if you can't handle your business, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's more than money. Money ain't shit. You know, the peace of mind is much better than money. I remember when I gave up grinding in, um, two th- well, I got out of prison in 2000. I went back um, in 2003 because I, I still had some gas on my chest that I had to relieve. But um, when I, in 97, 98, I got a job. My partners, my partners was like Big C, man. You changed. You goddamn right I changed. Nigga, I made these, I made 15 year old, 13 year old decisions when I was 13. I was like, I was um, about 30 at that time, 26. No, I was 30, but I, I was on in 87. I was, mm, shit, I forgot. Anyway. I was older, man, and I knew I had I had to readjust my thinking on on those fifteen year old decisions that I made and stand up and be a man, stand on my square. So when I got that job, my partners they was laughing, but now all them niggas got jobs, and some of them got better jobs than me, you know. So you're not gonna stay fifteen, you're not gonna stay twenty, you're not gonna stay. You got to plan for the future, man. You know, you got to do some. You got to do some self development, man. You got to readjust your thinking. You got to reeducate yourself. You got to be honest with yourself, man. You know, it's not how is you a fucking king and you dead. You know, you are supposed to be living, man. You are supposed to be raising your kids. You supposed to be sending your kids off to college. You supposed to be um, teaching your girl, your daughters how to um, how to navigate through this world and teaching your son how to be a man man you know what i'm saying you can't just um you can't just leave them there because you had a, had some um fucked up feelings one night and you felt like you you want to get um froggy and you leaped off the motherfucking um world you know, these niggas killing themselves and shit. Niggas can't handle it, man. We are strong people, man. My my, this this is my example of who I try to live my live my life like. You know, Muhammad Ali. That was a man to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't see no manhood in the nigga that's in prison for the rest of his life, but because he's killing motherfuckers off his um, emotions and shit, niggas reacting off emotions and, and killing motherfuckers and trying to get street clout, killing motherfuckers, nigga, nigga, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? That nigga can't teach me nothing but not to be like him. You know, you can learn a lot from a dummy. You know, so man, y'all got to get y'all lives together, man. You, you, if you if you come together, if we, we we don't need nobody else. You know what I'm saying? They, black people always talk. They they always they don't nobody owe us shit. We owe ourselves. We got to stand up, man. You know how I, I want to build a black community. I want to be able to go into a black suburb. I want to be able to um, go to a black store. I want to be able to um, buy my all my. All my essentials from a black business. But we ain't got that. Because we killing the dynamic motherfuckers. Niggas get jealous because the nigga got some money. Or, or, or your cousin might come up. You get jealous of him. Set your own motherfucking cousin up. Because he ain't, he ain't gave you none of his hard-earned earned, earned shit. You know? You, niggas is fucked up in the head. Niggas ain't um no you know niggas holler that king shit. Y'all niggas ain't no kings if you can't build no kingdom. You know how the fuck is you a king and you ain't got no kingdom? Nigga, you can't even go get an apple from a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing my own motherfucking fruit, growing my own um, um vegetables. You know. I'm hell mindful of the shit that I eat, put my in my body. I'm 51 years old, be 52 this year. My son is only eight. My daughters, they grown, but I want to be around so I could leave them something, you know, because I started off late. I did 20 years in the streets and went to prison and all that shit. So at 36, I turned my life around, man. I'm 51 now. 
and it, it's going all right, you know, but I'm going to be able to leave them something, a house, a paid off, so they don't have to be in the streets. And, and, and y'all need to stop kicking, the, these parents need to stop kicking these kids out. At, um, hey, when you get 18, you got to get out the house. That's fucked up. That's what happened to me, man. And uh, fortunately, I was strong enough and, and, and had the forethought to preserve myself out in this motherfucker. I almost got killed hella times in these motherfucking streets, man. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take that shit as I gotta go get revenge from these niggas. No, I took that shit as I gotta get myself out of that situation, <clears throat> make myself last because I owe it to my children. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, when I when niggas ran in front of me with a um, AK bulletproof vest on, and I had just beat his ass, and he was trying to kill me. The gun jammed. I had to hit some barbed wire fences. During that time, I thought about my mom. I was like, man, my mom was gonna be hella sad. You know what I'm saying? So because I love my 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 mama and I love my grandma, and them. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to go out like that. You know I, you know I. Mind you, I kick a motherfucker ass t- terribly. You know what I'm saying? But this is not the, the days of fighting. These niggas ain't fighting no more. So when it, it, when some fighting come, it's, it's followed immediately after by some killing. You know, like we're seeing in the Young Brothers um, incident. Man, FBG Duck, all all you, all you brothers out there, man, I I watch you and I watch. I, I, when I got wind of FBG Duck. I took a liking to him because he reminded me of some of my cousins and my nephews. And he had that heart. You know what I'm saying? We got some strong shit, but you guys are pouring water into this strength. You know what I'm saying? You're diluting our strength <clears throat> by, by this killing shit. That shit is retarded. That's devil shit. And and when you claim the devil, when you claim that energy, you want to be a demon, you want to be a savage, you want to be a monster, man, it's consequences to your actions, man. It's consequences and repercussions to everything you do. If I sit up here and eat potato chips and motherfucking um, Big Macs all motherfucking year, I'm going to be sick. You know, if I don't exercise and take my vitamins and um, run, and um, if I keep... I, I just stopped smoking weed, stopped drinking, all that. I don't do nothing no more. <clears throat> but I see I still got this motherfucking cough, though, because there's consequences, reper- repercussions of all them years that I did it. And I know a lot of niggas that was killing. You know, I grew up with killers. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them gone. It's karma. You know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. The energy that you put out is the energy you get back, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's some real shit. <clears throat> Y'all need, niggas need to read Proverbs, man. Read Proverbs. Make Proverbs. If You don't have to be no Christian. You don't have to be no Muslim. Read them books, though. Because there's information in the books on how you can live, man. And how you can escape through this sucker. And as you get older, you're going to get wiser. And once you keep those books and you keep that information in your in your life, in your program, eventually it's going to take hold and you're going to live in the wisdom that you gain from living and growing. It's going to um, it's going to help you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to, you ain't no punk just because you want to stay here. You a punk because you jump off this motherfucker so fast. You're only 21, 22, 26. Man, it's y- y'all could do better, man. Y'all, it's it's so much shit that you could do. You could go get your class A's and drive a fucking big rig truck all across this motherfucking country and get broke off. You know what I'm saying? You could get that money that you be having that you niggas is stealing, and um, the, even the EDD niggas they didn't got that shit. Now niggas broke, still went back to bipping cars, breaking out windows, and stealing purses and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas had twenty. Racks, the 50 racks, the 60 racks, niggas broke. Nigga um, breaking in cars with some Louis Vuitton um, shoes on and um, a motherfucking um, $600 belt on, you breaking in cars. 
You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that's not gonna last. That, that shit, you don't build your foundation on sand. Build your foundation on concrete. Go get your license. Go um, go to school. You know, you, you can't even do that shit because you're funking with niggas all over the city. So if a nigga see you, you with your backpack on, coming from school, he gonna mow your ass down. Man, get out that life, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to come together. And um, I know it's a lot of blood to been shed, and it's a lot of hate and hatred in in, the, in these communities, man. But y'all need to find some way to, to to make a truce and put some time and space between yourself, man. And move out of the places that you can go. In the Quran, Allah say, did not make this world expansive and spaces for you so you can navigate and move somewhere else and do something else reinvent yourself man get away from them niggas stop living that foul ass life stop fucking with them funky ass hoes the man is supposed to be lacing the women and, and, and making them um a good teammate you know what i'm saying but instead you know, niggas is, is been fucked up they women and fucked up they, they community and now niggas ain't got shit. Niggas ain't got no, no, nothing to do but just get killed. You know, when you create that type of environment around yourself, it's, you know, what the consequences, repercussions in the karma is going to be exactly how you made it be. You made it be like this. So it, I just had a partner that got killed, man. And he was doing a lot of shit. And, and, and the folks he was hanging with was doing a lot of shit. And I, and I found out he got killed. And I was hella mad, right? Because they was just on the, they was just this close to coming up in this music shit, right? It was raw as fuck, man. Raw as fuck. And um, the guy killed, and I just listened to the story of how it happened. And my response was, they could kill their motherfucking self. All this shit that they was doing, how the fuck you think you're going to survive and be able to perform around a motherfucker and you out here killing and robbing and, and, and for dangling and, and, and doing all this bullshit? You know what I'm saying, nigga? Somebody, this, this is life. This is real life. You just can't do nothing to anybody and think ain't nothing going to happen to you. A punk will kill you. I know gangsters that's been killed by scared-ass niggas. Because they had to handle their business just like a cat. You back that motherfucking cat up against the wall, you're going to have all kind of nicks and abrasions and, and scratches and bruises and shit. That motherfucker going to come. He gonna, you know how a cat is. He, he'll be on your ass like a wig, a bad wig. And he's, he's a little ass cat. And your ass six five. It don't matter how big you is. You back that motherfucker up into a, a corner. You know what I'm saying? So... You gotta think, man. I'm gonna tell you what it's it's strong. It's strong when you preserve yourself. Self preservation is the, is the um, first law of nature. You know what I'm saying? So actually, you is a savage if you can't preserve yourself. You then you crazy. So you don't. What they do. I, we had a wild pit bull, big ass pit bull, running around the neighborhood one time. We trying to grind. This motherfucking pit come down the street looking like Bolo. This motherfucker crazy run up on us. Man, we, we had somebody go in the store across the street. Go get some lighter fluid. <laughs> Man, that brother, we, we got that, they threw that lighter fluid to it. Man, we hit that motherfucker with that lighter fluid while we was on, we on the car. We hitting that motherfucker with the lighter fluid, right? Burnt his motherfucking ass up. That motherfucker looked like a um a firework running ran into the wall. Pow! The whole wall <laughs> caught on fire. Yeah, because a wild dog running through the street, wild and crazy. Nigga, we got to get that motherfucker up out of here. He's a threat to the whole community. So I've seen a whole lot of that shit happen, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Oakland, California, man. You know, this shit, this shit ain't nothing new. It's been going on. But the smart people and a lot of guys my age, you know, they into real estate now. Got trucking companies, logistic companies. Got um, 
independent contractors doing um all kind of shit, man. In the in the in the union making sixty dollars an hour, man. Niggas is niggas. All my niggas, they getting money, and they they get some of them get more money than they did when they was selling dope, man. You know what I'm saying? Be, actually, all everybody is because that shit wasn't. It was built on sand. It's fake. Blood is fake, man. Y'all let this shit go, man. Stop living. Y'all live trying to live, relive some shit that's been over. The stadium is towed down. And your ass, the, the game has been played. The stadium has been towed toe down. And you going back up in that motherfucking field. Ain't nobody there trying to play that game that's been over. Talking about, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it down and out on three. Break your ass is, is is psychotic. You crazy. The game over, man. That kind of game, you know. And and what's the the the, the, the equation after all of it? You know, the math is that ain't nobody ain't nobody been successful on no on no shit like that. I mean, you can look at these videos with these niggas in prison and all that shit. And yes, he was a killer. He was this. He, all right. Talk about niggas that's dead. But let's look at them. they gone. You know what I'm saying? Felix Mitchell was 32 when he got killed. We was trying to be like Fee. And and we realized, hey, man, that nigga was 32 and he didn't make it. I'm, I lived 20 more years. I already lived 20 more years more than him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be, I'd rather be like Ali. You know, Ali was an honorable man, man, world class, the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't no punk. Do you think Lee, Ali, Muhammad Ali was a punk? He was a decent Muslim man. That's some strong shit. Look at the kingdom he built. What kind? How can you can't build a kingdom with some um, with some J cat shit, man? You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of us we got we prideful. You know what I'm saying? You in your you, you got too much pride. Pride is a sin, man. Gluttony. Look up gluttony, pride, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Greed. All that shit. That's a sin. And then niggas uh, don't, you know, when a motherfucker killed, and you be happy that a motherfucker killed, be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the, the spiritual world is real. You know, what goes around comes around. Karma is real. Man, I know niggas that knock shit down. And they died of natural causes. You know, nigga got diabetes or cancer or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And died young. You know, nigga got, got all kind of shit. There's a lot of shit going on, man. Y'all niggas got to think, man. Open up your goddamn eyes and see. We Black people, we, could, we are the strongest people in the fucking world. We the people who built this whole fucking country. You take black people out of America, it ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? But we squandering our pearls to swine. You know what I'm saying? Man, I hope y'all take this shit serious, man. Rest in peace, King Von. Rest in peace, FBG Duck. Rest in peace to my folks. Rest in peace to your folks. Man, get in that motherfucking house and take care of them kids and handle your motherfucking business. Address your psychological issues. Be honest with yourself. Fix yourself. Stand your... Eat right. Um, go get your license. Go get your um, go get in that union. Go get them class A's. Go to school, man. Leave that shit, that stupid shit alone. Because you know where you're gonna be sleeping on the street in 20 years on drugs or in jail. With the talking about the white man, the white man taking care of you in jail. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no king shit, man. If you really kings and queens, you'll build a kingdom, a real kingdom, a healthy kingdom, where our kids can go outside and play, ride their bikes around, and grow up to be somebody and take care of you. You know what I'm saying? That's what kings do. Look up, read about what that shit is before you call yourself one, man. You know. Rest in peace to my folks and rest in peace to your folks. God bless y'all. Y'all be cool, man.